This is Gordon Pepper. Welcome to another edition of You've Been Called Out. And I have over here from the Hounds of War, Mr. George Baxter. George, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Gordon? I am doing good. Now, you've approached me and you said that you wanted to call somebody, or shall I say some bodies, out. Talk to me about that. I was looking to call out the current uncapped tag champions. Uh... That would be Dave Nagelhout and Matthew Fry Funk over from the Dysfunctional Bowlers. Yes. Um, yesterday, we bowled a match for the number one contender spot. Came up a little short. We lost four to three. Uh, it was a good match. But uh, I want to bowl them. I want to prove that we can beat them. And it's a little Connecticut versus New Jersey type thing. So for those of you that haven't seen this before, let me explain a little bit. Anybody can call anybody else out. It is a person that's being challenged that is the option whether or not to accept the bet. Steve Lynn, known George forever. He's got a lot of ability, a lot of drive. And I think we could, we could take these belts. Now, I know this guy in the middle, and this is Matthew Kaz, and you're not with either member of the tag team. Now, I know your brother has pulled a little bit in tag team action and in singles action. And you, I believe, are going to be, if not already, in the number one contender spot for the heavyweight title. What brings you here? So you're picking on Raul for your brother's sake. Hey, big brother's got to hold little brother's back a little bit when he can't, you know, hold up his own britches. <laughs> they don't know that they're getting called out. So this is going to be fun. And they also don't know that it's going to be all three of them. So we're going to check this out. Let's see what happens. We're going to here. Come with me. We're going to go hang out and find out. All right. I usually go to one person and I say, you've been called out. So, but I have the same message for the three of you. You've all been called out. Both of you have been challenged to a doubles match. You've been challenged to a singles match. Oh, by the way, the matches are for $200. So I'll give you two options. Number one is if you want to accept the match immediately, it'll only cost you $100. i will come up with the other $100. Or you can see who your opponents are, except if you want to do that, I'm not covering anything. If you want to take the match, you're putting up all the money. I will let you guys discuss amongst yourselves. I'm going to put the microphone here because I want to hear what you guys are discussing. And then you let me know uh, which one of you are going to be doing what. I don't care who I'm bowling. I'll be the trade out of them anyways. All right, then. So you're going to pay 100 I'm going to cover the other one. David. We're going to go blind. Yeah. Everybody's going to go blind. Right, let's see who exactly your opponents are going to be. <laughs> uh, Matthew Goss. Who are you challenging? Burwell. Why? Well, he's got the current cruiserweight belt. He's also the capped tag belt champion and he's beat my brother twice Ooh. all right george matches <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing since he's challenging raul you and steve are challenging these guys yes the uh the current uncapped tag team champs oh we just want to be here we're ready we're ready we're ready to take them on all right now i'm going to flip the script over to you guys you guys decided to challenge blind so right now, the bet is 200. If you want, you can raise it up to 500. You can keep it at 200, or you can give a number somewhere in between. Or, ooh, what would you like to do? I will pay three. You pay the one. I'll go for a total four. $400 on this match. You guys. We'll keep it at the one. You're per man. So you guys are bowling for 200 man. You guys are bowling for 400. So this is doubles. It's not tag team. It's doubles. Your score versus theirs. It is two out of three. Best of luck to everybody. We will start this when both teams are eliminated from the brawl. I don't know what they think they're doing. My guys taking everything. Everything. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. All right, good luck to them. We'll see what happens. A little more bowling, but we have an upper hand right now. We're going to keep it, and um, we're going to use this, use this um, power for later on when we have to bowl our competitors. Oh, they should be definitely just concerned. I would be concerned. Uh, me and Dave are a force to be reckoned with. Um, <laughs> I don't, I'm not trying to be cocky, but we are a force to be reckoned with. I, we have a good shot. We have a good shot. So right now, as you can see, the dysfunctional bowlers are still currently bowling in the semifinals. And unfortunately for my buddies over here next to me, they're watching. You guys taking notes? What's going on? Yeah, we're just chilling, resting, figuring out something later, making a strategy. But what is said strategy right now? The bowl strike. It's a good strategy. I like that strategy. Pick up the phone. Matt throws the ball. Comes across. Seven pin. And Dave steps here to the line. Finish up 
his 10th frame. It was, a, it was a good match. I mean, we went to game three, but uh, you know, I didn't really have my A game. Um, it was really tough with the carry down after how many games have been bold and stuff, and I really didn't have a good look. I missed some spares in the last frame that really put us in a hole early, and just unfortunately it wasn't our day. For the Hounds Award, this is Gordon Pepper saying, you never know around here, they've been, you called them out. In this case, it didn't work out that well. We'll see what happens next time, signing off.